All right, hello and welcome back. In this uh, video, we're talking about transferring calls on Microsoft Teams on a PC. Uh, please bear with me in this video. Uh, the audio is going to change uh, between the mic going to the call and the mic going to my recording software. So uh, just please bear with me through that. Here we are on the calls tab. I got my dial pad and I got my phone number, so I'm in the right place. Um, I'm actually on a call with myself. All right, so this is the call window and the call where people can hear you. You know, you talk back and forth. All right, so uh, here we are on the call, and the only way you can access transfer is through uh, these three dots where you hit more, okay, while you're in the call window. And if I want to transfer, I'm going to click transfer. Before you do that, when you click transfer, the call is going to stay on hold. So make sure you tell that person, hey, I'm going to put you on hold while I transfer you. All right, and then uh, we'll click transfer. All right, and I can type in a number that I want to transfer to, or if I want to type in, um, you know, I'm going to transfer to Ed. I'll click on Ed, and Ed's name is highlighted in purple, and this transfer button is highlighted in purple as well. And then um, I can transfer it straight to Ed, or if I hit the drops down, I can transfer it straight to Ed's work voicemail. Either one. Okay, um, so when after you click transfer, all right, I'm not going to click transfer because Ed doesn't know about this call. But, um, <laughs> but uh, when you click transfer, uh, that call is still going to stay on hold. Okay, and that transfer button is uh, when you click that, it's gonna that window is gonna stay up and it'll say transferring until either Ed picks up that call or it goes to Ed's voicemail, and then the call will end. All right, if you want that call to come back to you if Ed doesn't answer, you got to click this slide here where it says ring back if there's no answer. So you'll still have that call going on until either Ed picks up uh, or if Ed doesn't pick up, it'll come back to you. If you have this off, uh, if Ed doesn't pick up, it'll go to Ed's voicemail, or if Ed doesn't have voicemail set up, it'll the call will end, and your call window will go away as soon as uh, one of those two things happen. So if you want the call to come back to you, make sure you click that slide. So we'll click cancel. All right, and again, this is on hold, right? The call is still on hold, so uh, if you want to take, take them off hold, you're going to click this resume button up here. So that's how you transfer. All right, the other thing I want to talk about is consult and then transfer. So again, the call is on hold, okay? And this option is for like, um, if Jim calls me and he wants to talk to Ed, uh, I wanna talk to Ed first and put the and put Jim on hold to make sure Ed's available before I send Jim to Ed, you know, through the call. So um, the way we do that is clicking on that consult to transfer button again, where those three dots were. All right, and then uh, I can type in Ed's name or a number and click on Ed and I can chat Ed um, or I can audio, I can do a Teams call with Ed while that call is on hold. So you can have kind of two calls going on at once, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and chat Ed. Again, the call is on hold. There's some music playing so the person, you know, knows uh, uh, that they're on hold. And I'll say, you know, hey, hey, Ed. Uh, and I'll do it in capital letters. Uh, Jim is on the phone. Are you available? Are you available? Question mark. All right, and then I, I'll uh, click the arrow to send that chat to him. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and then you can chat back and forth uh, while that call is on hold um, before you click transfer to transfer that call to Ed. All right, so that transfer button moved up here to the top. All right, and again, uh, you can transfer it to work voicemail. If, uh, if Ed says, uh, I'm busy right now, please transfer this guy to my voicemail. Okay. so. Um, that's how you transfer on Microsoft Teams on a PC, all right? Again, my name is Ryan England, and I work for Vision Data and Communication Services, and I will see you in the next one.